All right, well, uh, I grew up in the church, which is uh, pretty much a breeding ground for fakers. You know, you can learn the answer to every Bible question. It's really easy. You just say, Jesus, you know. Son, what has four wheels, drives on the highway, and blares its siren when people get hurt? Jesus! Well, no, not at all. <laughs> but son, you have a heart for the Lord. You got a real heart for the Lord. I appreciate that heart for the Lord you got right there. I mean, I just, I pulled that off all through high school. I was one person at church. I was another person with my friends. I did not talk about Jesus with my friends. I talked about other stuff that we don't need to get into right now. Um, and I was these, this dual person, these two personalities. And then one year I went on a retreat and the speaker was talking about our relationship with God and chocolate milk and lemonade. And he got up and he said, all right, how many of you love chocolate milk? And we're like, yeah, I love chocolate milk. Except for me, because I was kind of like well fed and I didn't want people to know I love chocolate milk. So I was like, man, I don't like chocolate milk. I don't even drink it for breakfast every morning. That's weird. And then he was like, how many of you love lemonade? And everyone was like, yeah, we love lemonade. And he was like, how many of you love chocolate milk and lemonade mixed together? And then we were like, gross, man, keep telling us about Jesus. And he did. And he drank it. And he was like, oh, that's gross. He said, you know what? Jesus says that if you're one person in front of him and you act like you love him, but then in front of other people, you act like you don't, he, tr he, he thinks of your religion like chocolate milk and lemonade mixed together. He says he'll spit it out of his mouth. And I felt convicted of my sin. And as he talked about the goodness and the grace of Jesus on the cross toward me, a religious Pharisee who was having an adulterous affair with the world, I realized I needed Jesus to rescue me from my sin through his redemption on the cross. And that was the day I placed my faith in him.